Pippin Pharmaceuticals in association with Higher Secondary Principals Forum. A very warm welcome students to this business studies class of mine for standard 12th. I am teacher Madhuri Shikerkar teaching at Shiroda Higher Secondary School, Shiroda, Goa. Before I actually begin my lecture, I would like to appreciate the efforts and also thank at the same time the Principals Forum, Prudent Media, Lupin Pharmaceuticals, who have made a very good attempt of reaching out to you in this pandemic of COVID-19. So now, students, be safe, stay at home, and enjoy this e-learning. Here we begin with the topic. The topic is number three, that is business environment. The word business environment consists of two words. One is the word business plus the word environment. Business, as, it is, as you can see, it is defined as an economic activity of generating income through buying and selling, manufacturing and rendering auxiliary services to the society. Now, when I say to the society, it makes one thing very clear that business cannot exist in isolation. It is there existing in a society. There are various groups like the suppliers, the customers, the bankers, the financial institutions, the trade unions, etc., among whom the business exists or is carried on among these forces. Now, we move on to the next word of business environment, that is environment. Environment is the aggregate of all conditions, events, and influences that surround and affect any organization. Again here, as I have said, environment is nothing in simple terms. It means the surroundings in which the business exist or in which the business is carried on. It includes a number of factors. It includes a number of persons. It includes a number of institutions in which, which are affecting or influencing the business that is carried on. Now, we move, we club the two words together business environment. Business environment, as I just now put, is nothing but the factors. It is a combination of various factors, forces, individuals, and institutions which are outside the control of the business enterprise, but they may affect the performance. So all of them together, they have an influence on the business. There, there are various factors like economic, social, technological, political, and legal factors which have an influence on the environment or they constitute of the environment in which the business is to be carried on by an enter Premier. So now we actually begin uh, by highlighting the why is business environment important. Importance of business environment is 
the next caption or the title of my chapter now it enables it enables the firm to identify opportunities and getting first mover advantage a businessman is supposed to understand the environment in which he is carrying on his business and when he scans the environment when he studies the environment the forces that are playing their role in the environment what happens is there are a number of opportunities which a businessman comes across and the title says identify opportunities when he identifies your i mean he means the businessman or the business entrepreneur when he scans or understands the environment around him he understands the opportunities which are available to him and how he can make best available use of this environment to capture the market and leave his competitors far behind in the market i'll quote an example of whatsapp whatsapp is a mobile application all of us today cannot survive without it what we do is anything we say okay send me one whatsapp message so very used to it we have become now this mobile app whatsapp it was the first application for mobile chat and later on many applications came into existence like the instagram the twitter the facebook so on and so forth but mobile application whatsapp still enjoys number one position on the mobile okay now here is a very striking example look at this a beautiful lady with a beautiful mask now you must be wondering what this is she is mrs dhanashri from pune in pune she has a manufacturing unit she manufactures ready made garments in this pandemic situation of covid 19 as she was sitting in her cabin she got an idea the paithani sari traditional paithani sari which is a famous sari in maharashtra she got an idea let me convert this sari pallu this pallu has a speciality they have you can see a beautiful print of the peacock and what she did was she made use of this pallu and she converted that into beautiful elegant masks which could be worn by the ladies even during certain very precious occasions like attending parties or going to a wedding they would wear that and what this opportunity which she took had beautiful results the ladies from pune are lining up her unit and the later on many other manufacturers also have tried this but looking at the first mover advantage she got that she grabbed the opportunity of this situation in which masks were in lot of demand without a mask one cannot go out of the house and she thought okay the ladies who are very uh, what you say conscious about themselves if they wear this beautiful silk mask it would add to their beauty so she took the opportunity of this situation and she converted the beautiful elegant sari pallus into beautiful masks 
So, students, let us move on to the second importance of understanding business environment. It says it helps the firms to identify threats and early warning signals. Now, as a businessman, a businessman has to be very alert, keeping an eye on what is going on, going on around his business or in the surroundings. When a scanning is done, when a study is done, when a research is conducted, the business entrepreneurs or the business firms, they understand what are the threats for their business and qualitative information gives them the warning signals. Early the warning signals, it is better for them to do some changes in their plans, policies, strategies, products, etc. Now, you must be wondering what I'm doing with this Lakme. Lakme is a cosmetic company in India, a very old company. When the new economic reform in 1991 was introduced, allowing many other firms to enter the Indian markets, the Lakme company got the early warning signal. Many other companies like Johnson and Johnson, Procter and Gamble, or L'Oreal, Uni, Hindustan Unilever, etc., when they started flooding our market with cosmetics, let me beforehand understanding the environment realized they had to do something drastic and so they added to their product, they changed of their products, they added a number of new products, right, from a powder compact up to a, a big wide range was developed or was produced by Lakme company. Not only that, you can see this, it is a Lakme gift card which is offered on the, okay, this is the latest advertisement of Lakme Cosmetic Company Limited. You can see they are offering a gift card to the pampered sisters on the eve of Raksha Bandhan. So, the moment the company understands that there is certain threat to their company, they change right from their product up to their strategies, their planning, their advertisement, everything has to be changed so that they still have a number one position in the market and their brand is still famous in the minds of the customers. Okay, students, we move on to the third point stating the importance of business environment. Business environment helps in taping useful resources. A business requires a number of resources, like they require the raw material, they require labor, they require machinery, they require tools, they require equipments. Also, we cannot forget the finance. All these resources, together, we call them as the inputs. The companies grab the most, most required resources from the environment. There also, they have to make a study of which resources are available. They take those resources, convert them into outputs, and provide the required goods to the society or to the consumers as per their demand and as per their likings. Now, you will be wondering what example is this. You can see this, aloe vera. 
Patanjali, this is Patanjali. Patanjali made a very detailed study on this particular resource that is aloe vera plant. And they decided, let us make this resource as a powerful resource on which we can encash and have our products in the market. So what they did with this aloe vera, two examples I have put here. One is Patanjali aloe vera drink. So friends, you have seen how aloe vera was the resource which Patanjali has captured or they have tapped. You can see out of aloe vera, again I am uh, coming to the point that aloe vera is the resource which they have found is available in plenty. You can see the next product which is manufactured by Patanjali company that is a gel, face gel. With this resource of aloe vera, they also have manufactured powder, compact, compact powder, they have manufactured a number of soaps, they have manufactured, as I told you, gel, so on and so forth. Here we are concentrating on the useful resources, how they understood that they could make so many, a range of products out of aloe vera plant. So they have later on number of other companies have in competition, they have also manufactured the products made out of aloe vera, but Patanjali, they have done a fantastic job as they were, they were the first ones to identify this resource. Now, we move on to the next point, why environment is very important. It is coping up with rapid changes. There are fantastic changes or we can say there are changes taking place at a very fast speed. Technological changes we can see, we can see fragmented markets, we can see the consumers are more and ever demanding, then we can see there is heavy global competition that is taking place and a firm who understand these changes has to do something to remain in the market. Now, what have they to do to cope up with these rapid changes? Since technology is uh, running at a zoom speed every day, whatever was there yesterday is not found today, new changes are taking place. So naturally, a firm has to cope up with this technology and for that, they require expert professionals to take charge of the newly invented or newly brought in technology. Not only this, they have to see that they have produced those products which are demanded in the market. The, the consumers should crave for their products. That is what they have to do. Later on, they have to build up a brand image in the minds of the customers. So much so, a customer, when a particular brand is fixed in his mind, he will not budge an inch from that product. He will say if that product, product is not available, after how many days is it coming? He will ask the shopkeeper and accordingly he will wait for the product till the brand comes to the shop and then uh, when it comes, he will pick it up and take away. But he will not move from the brand. So if we have to cope up with the rapid changes that are taking place, it is very essential for the businessman to have the brand image stuck into the consumer's mind. Not only this, they have to also see that 
the consumers are satisfied, of course, we have seen. Then employees, when they are satisfied, the employees will give their 100% to the manufacturing or other departments where they belong. They will struggle hard. They will put in a lot of efforts and see that the firm enjoys the profits by rendering very good services to the society. So it is very, it is very essential for any business entrepreneur to cope up with the rapid changes and these changes we find them in the environment. So understanding, again I come back, understanding the environment is the basic necessity for any business entrepreneur. Now we move on to the next last point, assisting in planning and decision making. See, I, I had given you the example of Lakme company, how it changed immediately the moment it sensed that other competitors are pouring in, they made drastic changes in their plans. They also took the right decision of carrying on a number, adding a number of uh, products to their brand and they took the right decision. So we can see if a businessman understands the environment, he understands the changes that are taking place, he understands about his competitors, the rival firms, etc. He is in a position to take better decisions, quick decisions and plan for the future with the aim of capturing the attention of the customers. With this, we move on to the next part of this particular chapter that is dimensions of business environment. Business environment consists of five different dimensions. I'll just at a quick glance I'll tell you and then we'll look at the clippings. The five different dimensions which are uh, operating are economic environment, then we have the social environment, we have the technological environment, we have the political environment and last we have the legal environment which influences the functioning of a particular company or a business enterprise. Now, the first one we are going to deal that is economic environment. These forces or factors, they have a great influence on the functioning of an economy. Now, which factors are they? They are gross domestic product, income levels, per capita income, profit earning, productivity, employment rate, the stock exchange operations, etc., etc. All these are the economic factors which constitute the economic environment of the business. Now, when economic, these factors are influencing, one needs to make a study of them. Take the example, if there is high inflation, persistent high inflation in the country, one cannot think, the producer or the manufacturer cannot think of continuing his business with the same cost of operation. He can hardly think of selling the product at the same price. The cost of the product, the wages that he has to pay, pay to his employees, this will drastically change. Again, inflation, the same example, what happens is it has a negative impact on the economy and 
on the business houses, especially if the business has international market. Means if the entrepreneur is selling his products in the international market, this will hamper his position or it will hamper the profits which he is making. High inflation leads to reduction in the exports, export orders which the manufacturer is getting. It will lower the price of his exports. Not only that, the employment which the person has given to a number of people will come down. It will lower. With this, the profit also will come down since there are less, less number of export orders. The profit which he was earlier earning due to inflation, it will come down. It will have an impact on the employment. It will have adverse impact on the national income and as a whole you can see how it influences or has an impact on the business of that particular entrepreneur. Now we move on to the next environment that is social environment. India is a land of diversity. People from different religions, customs, traditions, cultures, beliefs, they stay together, they reside together. And all these customs, traditions, tastes, preference, the education level of the people in the country, it has an influence or it has an impact on the business that the businessman is in. So now we will see, I have shown two pictures. See, it is a land of various traditions, customs. All this has an influence on the business. Now you can see two clippings. Before I go to this, I will uh, move on. I will talk about this particular clip. It is an advertisement of Cadbury. Now, various festivals, this is the festival around the corner. This is Raksha Bandhan. Ra on the eve of Raksha Bandhan, how the manufacturers of sweets or the manufacturers are ready with beautiful gifts for the sisters. This advertisement, very catchy advertisement we have seen on the television when they say, uh, for your sister, have a lovely gift. They especially keep special, they manufacture special sweets in a container and very beautifully it is placed before the consumers. And so you can see how festivals, traditions, customs, they have, they, the manufacturers or the businessmen can make money during the season of festives on where or when we are observing certain festivals or customs or traditions and so on. Now, before I go here, I would like you to see this particular clipping here. It is a kite festival which is noticed or it is witnessed in the state of Gujarat. It is Uttarayan. The name is Uttarayan or it is also known as Makar Sankranti in the North India and it is known as Pongal in the South India. Now what happens? This is a very famous kite festival. In this season on the day of Makar Sankranti, the manufacturers manufacturing kites have a splendid time. Right from a small kite up to you can see how you can see the shape of this particular kite. All right from a small boy up to, a, up to the dadaji, everybody is there. And then there are competitions held whose kite flies higher. 
So see how businesses make money or how they take this opportunity of various festivals that we observe or we see. Now there is also Diwali. During Diwali what happens? Right from a small vendor next to your house up to malls and supermarkets all have beautiful diyas, colorful diyas, different designs, different shapes and different colors are waiting for the customers. The customers have to rush and then they are totally confused as to which diya I should go in for. Whether this one is good, that one is good, etc, etc. We are thinking of the product, the manufacturers, of course, with the satisfaction of the customer, they are thinking of their market, they are thinking of their profits, which they make, especially during these occasions. Same is the case with Christmas festival, or it might be Eid, whatever things are required, the market is full of those particular products. And as we say, it is chandi of the manufacturers or the vendors who supply them to the customers. There are different trends or there are different, here we can see this florist or this vendor, what am I highlighting here? It is a rose day. Right from 7th of February up to 14th of February. 14th February is celebrated as a Valentine's Day. In between, from 7th up to 14th, there are different days like a rose day or a chocolate day. They have a teddy bear day, etc., etc. So now this florist or this vendor, he is so happy on the occasion of Rose Day. All the youngsters, especially the colleges, and I don't know about the schools, the high secondaries, the colleges, and young couples are waiting to get beautiful roses to be given to their loved ones. So, see, he is, he is there with a broad smile because on that day, by the end of the day, he is left with no roses. His roses have been sold to the uh, customers. This is one. Ah, here on the rose day, even the greeting card manufacturers, they enjoy because there is a demand for the greeting cards as well as there is during festive season, even the People with uh, meat, uh, who prepare mithai, produce mithai, mithai fellows, confectionaries, that also business makes heavy profit during this occasion. Now, here is another clipping of Teacher's Day. We all are teachers. My dear students, I experience this, your love on Teacher's Day where you bring a number of flowers, you bring greeting cards, either you buy them, when you buy them, it is again the manufacturer of the greeting card who is going to enjoy along with you. And the teacher's day celebration also makes the manufacturers or the business enterprises very happy as their products are in demand. There are many, many other occasions which, uh, which have an influence on the business. Now we move on to the next environment. This is the technological environment. Innovations, researches are taking place almost every day. We have innovative things. The scientists are working on it. They are finding new, new things with which the goods or the services could be delivered to the customers. And these scientific innovations have provided new ways 
of making goods and services for the business houses now we can say with this what happens is the earlier the way of manufacturing was different today with new innovations new methods have come into force they have been invented which are more efficient and they are more better in making the goods quick results we get with this innovated technology here is a picture there are three different pictures which are highlighted here here you must have identified this is a cinema theater technology has made it so very easy for us earlier when i was a student i remember if a movie came to the theater we had to rush line up in front of the theater to get the tickets and then that also sweating sweating we used to get the ticket and enter the hall now with this innovation what has happened everything it has become very easy you stay at home just find out online how which seat you would prefer whether you want the front row you want the back row you want a place next to the next to a fan or the ac or sometimes you might grumble ah at the back the ac is too strong i won't be able to concentrate on the cinema so as per the availability and as per your choice you can have your place in this auditorium next you can see the picture of a railway and a jet what happens again online facility the innovation which has it has made very easy for the passengers to book their seat in the railways or the flight they can coolly sitting at home do this now our technology still has so many facets you can see this youngsters specially every day somebody knocks at the door and the person is waiting with some order which you have booked flipkart amazon mintra etc they are online shops they deal right from a small pin up to a big any product which you require they have shoes variety whatever you want just go through the site highlight that particular product book the product and the product within a day or a two is at your door you enjoy that door service facility so flipkart and amazon again are the examples of technological environment here is something very interesting not only for me for me also it is interesting it is interesting for you all also suddenly you feel you want to have a burger and the mother is not ready to prepare it for you right now when it comes to your brain or you have suddenly the picture of uh, you want some chart you nowadays we are very much we like those charts and all so you just now you got an idea i want your mouth is watering you want that chart or you want a burger or you want a pizza what you do you already have this new technology is playing its role you already have this app on your mobile and look so beautifully they are saying they can run the kitchens from where they are you just the moment you feel you want something you place an order and the man is at your door at your service enjoy whatever you want all this is the effect of technology new technology which is very efficient and very quick to be the only thing is the businessman has to make use of this he has to understand that today is the era 
where he has to have a knowledge of this particular technological environment. This is how it plays a very important role in a business. Next is political environment. All factors related to government affairs such as government in power, attitude of the government, policy changes, etc. Now, everybody enjoys a very, very cool atmosphere, a very stable atmosphere. The riots and all this is not expected. So, the general tendency of everybody is that there should be peace, general peace in the country and the behavior of the government towards the business houses also have an impact on the functioning of a business house or a business enterprise. If there is stable government in the state or in the country, what happens is big business houses, they are ready to come with their funds to be invested in long-term projects. They don't mind because they know that the behavior of the government is very, very uh, favoring uh, policies of the government helps them to invest readily in long-term projects. Opposite of that is a government which is very shaky. Today, something is there, tomorrow it is not there because the government is not stable. In case of such unstable conditions, what happens is, even if it is required, big business houses are reluctant to come with their funds to be invested in long-term projects. They do not like it. Why? They are interested. See, a businessman, the word businessman itself says, he is there to make business, be in the market, enjoy the profits and satisfy the customers. This is their intention. And so, instability, political instability is not liked by the business houses. They remain aloof, they remain apart, they are reluctant to use their money in long-term projects. And so, students, the businessmen always are alert on the politi how is the political scenario in the country. They have an eye. They are very alert about the changes that are taking place and how their policies should be in order to tackle the scenario, political scenario in their state or in the, at the international level. Here is the last, uh, the last dimension, legal, dim uh, legal dimension or legal environment. See, as I had first made a comment that business does not exist in isolation. It exists among people, among bankers, among suppliers, etc., etc. All these forces are playing their role, very vital role, which influence the business. And so, common laws or laws Local laws have to be understood by the businessman. He has to have the knowledge. If there is violation of the law or the rules or the procedures which they are supposed to carry out as per certain law, and they do not do it, there is a penalty. Don't be surprised you don't follow a particular law and you end up in a court with some penalty. And then you just cannot say, oh, I did not know about this law. Ah, I did not know that this law was there. Suppose you are 
a sole trader. The law applicable to you is different. If you have a partnership firm, the law applicable to you is different. If you have a limited company, the law applicable is different. You are governed with the Companies Act of 2013. Every detail of it should be kept in mind and the businessman should be alert if there are some amendments in the Act, if there are certain changes in the Act. Now, there are Acts like Zoning Act. Now, what is this zoning? Certain businesses are not allowed in particular zones. Some are allowed in those zones. Then, when you are setting up your entity in a particular zone, see that your business is permitted in that zone and only then go for it, make a detailed study. Then there is a license law. Now what is this license law? You have to, if you are a businessman doing a business, you have to have a detailed knowledge of this license law. Now a, a restaurant, if you are starting a restaurant, you require a different type of license. If you are starting a hardware shop, the law for hardware shop is totally different. So you have to understand that particular knowledge should be there. The businessman has to be very, very alert about this also. Then we have the tax law. Nobody can escape this tax law, especially the businessman. Once a businessman starts generating sales, he is liable to pay the taxes. And so he has to consult the attorney, he has to consult a CA, the people with that particular knowledge and take the decisions and finally, at the end of the financial year, the final income tax has to be calculated even by us and even by the businessman. For that reason, the businessman should have the knowledge of law or the legal knowledge. Then you should also have the knowledge of air, water, pollution. These are, what are these? Now, you are a store in which, or you, are, you have a restaurant, or you have a fast food center, or you have something where you are producing some eatables. They have to have a certificate from this health department that whatever they are producing is quite healthy and favorable for the consumers to consume okay this is about the legal environment which influences the business and the businessman has to be very alert about legal political social economic factors and accordingly he has to make changes in his plans policies and strategies Prudent Scholars, powered by Lupin Pharmaceuticals.